man hey rob good thanks to see you man taking the time today buddy you're not a problem you know i love being on the water oh man we got a beautiful day here it is this doesn't happen much in uh, winter right no, here i know so. nice break in the weather really want to check out your boat man this yeah. thing is a tactical fishing <laughs> machine like a little well, fighter jet like you i've gone through a few north rivers oh, so yeah. you kind of get where uh, you kind of get where you got, you got it set up in. the way you want it so so this is a 27 foot it's uh set up for the way i fish i do a lot of trolling i don't do a lot of anchoring mm -hmm. so i have an anchor but it's it starts there mm -hmm. that's just kind of my emergency you know yeah oh yeah so, yeah have that. yeah you know i mean i kind of do the drifting thing yeah and then up top we got the lawrence halo radar mm -hmm. up top and then we have uh ais we have weather we have, of course, our GPS receiver. And I noticed the FLIR. The here FLIR, as well. yeah. 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 The and FLIR you, you is kind of nice. On the Columbia, right? You I, said? I do. We get yeah. down there on the Columbia and uh, you get early mornings, and I want to make that tide change to mm -hmm. get over the river. It's all about, you know, not going over the river at max ebb. Yeah. So yeah. if I can get out there and it saves me mm -hmm. 45 minutes and I can get out there ahead of it, you know, and get over that, yeah. it saves me from sitting at the dock for two or and three there's hours. There's a lot of boats. Yeah. Especially exactly. in the dark, right? In the so dark, yeah. Other boats. Particularly during buoy 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they tend to fish out in the channel with no lights. Yeah. So well, this thing is set up yeah, so Yeah, it's sweet. got a spotlight up there. It's got the big LED light bar. Mm -hmm. and, so digital, it's kind of universal. Yeah. Digital antennas. Yeah, these digital. Things are, these things are good. They uh, they definitely got the range on them. They yeah. do. Mm -hmm. We run the same thing. And yeah, they, they no, really, they're, they're, they're the way to go. A lot of power. Yeah. Well, let's check out the aft deck yeah. here. Yeah, got shore power there. and Got rod holders on the sides here. I like, you know, and on top. Yeah, so, lots nice. of rod storage, two nets. Two Gotta nets. Have two nets there. Got a net on each side, and then we mm -hmm. have outrigger mounts here that are rotate, so we can when we're fishing tuna, we can put the outriggers out. And then twin two twenty five Mercury Marine outboards that are running, but you wouldn't know it. Yeah, you could this whole time you couldn't even hear them. All you hear is the water, you know, yeah. the telltale going into the water there. Great motors, you know, as you know. Oh, you yeah. get out there. I mean, I, I love them, man. If I want to, I actually check my oil in mine because you oh, just hit the hatch. No, you can. Just, you it's just hit easy. the hatch and then you're done. You don't have to take the cover off. and Yeah, you pop know. that hatch open oh, and off you gosh. go. Gosh, then again, they're so quiet and fuel efficient. Yeah. You know, I, I'm so happy it went Mercury. So. And you got the Pro Kicker, mm -hmm. EFI. Yep. It's got tons of power and it's got that big alternator on it too. To it keep does. The batteries charged up. It does, when yeah. When you're trolling, that's, that's critical. So mm -hmm. well, let's jump in the aft deck here and look at how you have everything mounted, buddy. Okay. So we're okay. on the aft deck of the Salt Patrol now, and one thing that I, I, I notice here is the new <laughs> sea deck. Of course, we were there to watch the install on this whole thing up at Blue Seas and Burlington. How are you liking it so far? That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, feel it. You're, you're not moving on this. I mean, it's way better than non -skid. It's so quiet, and it really warms up these aluminum boats. Too. Yeah, warms it up. It quiets them down. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable on the feet. It's got a little give. Yeah. But but yet, you don't you don't move. And then the bolsters. got some padding for our, yeah. our old knees, yeah. right? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah, no nice kidding. thick bolsters all the way around. Um, yeah, I love it. And then you run three downriggers. Mm -hmm. Got three Scotty okay. 2106s. So okay. uh, the two on the side, I typically run, you know, they'll be the deep ones. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put the one out the back. If I'm going to run it, I'll run an eight pound weight on the back one, and 15s. Let it. Let it, I usually let it out first. And okay. get it back behind the boat, yep. you know, maybe just fish a bait on it. And with that lighter downrigger ball, it'll sweep out. It, it sweeps out, okay. and then, you, then it doesn't get in the way of the other two. Yep. So that so way don't is get Is that tangled. a coho drill kind of when the coho runner? Coho you run that or even black mouth, you know, when you okay. get those suspended fish. I, I typically won't put it down the bottom, you know, because it's yeah. going to be back so far. But that midwater, a lot of those big fish are in the midwater, mm -hmm. you know, they, those suspended bait Especially feeding. summertime, yeah. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. So and out in the ocean. And then you Bunny. do a bunch of tuna fishing too. You got yeah. the, the tuna tank here. Yeah, bait tank. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll hold uh, plenty of uh, oh, yeah. anchovies in there. And a, uh, another nice workstation here. Yeah, this is a North River built. Mm -hmm. We kind of had it made a little bit so we can actually set tackle and stuff back here. Mm -hmm. And then you got this whole area to work. Plus, if you look at the base of it, it's this yeah. wide. You can actually grab hold of this when you're out in the ocean. Well, when you're bouncing around. You're bouncing around. It's not going to break yeah. or nothing, you know. No, so. it is. It's cooking, man. And then. Yeah. Uh, Let's look at your uh, all your rigging here too. Yeah, those lift right out. Nice and clean. You're running Optima batteries. Yep, I love blue tops. Good batteries. Mm-hmm. Nice and clean, man. 
Yep, four Alt Ultimas, you mm -hmm. know, one per motor and two house batteries. And then all the switching's over there. Got all your breakers here, which mm -hmm. are so nice now. We're not messing with fuses anymore. Yeah. You know, very nice. And of course your stern steering station, Merc controls. You got your, uh, your troll master here. How do you like that? I like that. It controls uh -huh. the, uh, you get precise control of, of the, the right here. pro kicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can dial it up and get exact speed I want. So, and then it has memory. So you can go right back to where you were. And Simrad Autopilot out here as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, control uh, that from there or you can control it off the screen. And 12 inch, 12 inch live. Yeah, that's a live back here. Mm -hmm. There is a pro up in the front. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're waiting for those to come out. Yeah. Sounds like you, you got the first first one. Been doing a little testing on it, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. look so. forward to seeing those. So let's slide in the cabin and show some of the features that are in the cabin and then we'll yeah. take this thing for a second. Yeah, spin, well, that's, huh? we got a we got a uh, fish box back here too that's mm -hmm. uh, macerated. Mm -hmm. And then there's storage under here for tackle okay. when you get in here. So a lot of, this boat's built to store, you know, tackle yeah. and fish yeah. a bunch of different environments. So. Mm -hmm. Well, let's slide in the cabin and check it out and then we'll go for a spin okay. on this rocket ship, huh? Let's do it. Okay, so starting at the back of the boat, I got a tackle rigging area here. So it, it, this boat, it's, again, is set up to fish. So binocular holder, cup holders back here, tackle up here. Drawers are all full, set up, you know, everything we need, whatever we're fishing for in here. All our squids, extra reels, tools are up in here. So we have, you know, we're pretty much set to go. Then under here, there's tackle trays that are all set up in here. So even under the floorboards, there's all storage. There's a tank down here for the fuel tank for the heater, which we'll talk about in a sec, but, and then uh, some of the other stuff. And then we got a refrigerator, gotta have a refrigerator, right? So, and then moving forward, got another area here, kind of a prep area that we can do, we can put food on it or whatever. And then all our shore power switching is up here, power, and then we have our uh, plugs for our telephones and stuff. So that's all set up here and you got a little table. I like your rod racks up here too, John, store everything up. Yeah, up yeah. On the roof here. Got the downrigger rods over here. Yeah, very you know, nice. Trolling rods, jigging rods mm -hmm. are all up here, so everything's ready to go. Whatever you need to get to. So you got to be able to you got to be able to change tactics really quick, depending on what your what the conditions of the tide are, what the fish are doing. So helps out. So over here, this is the pro. Okay. The way you can really tell, it's got the blue button up here. Gotcha. And uh, so it's sitting on GPS mode. I have run one on GPS, and I have my sonar over here. Mercury vessel view down here with all my engine information. Another Simrad autopilot, trim tabs, fuel gauge. Even though I have, I have two. I actually have two feeds off the tank. Two, two. Uh, one is for electronic, and one is for the manual, so I can mm -hmm. have backup okay. somewhere out there. And then up here, I have a Simrad uh, Evil 3S, and that's more to kind of. It's on dual radar radar right now, so mm -hmm. dual range. But uh, some people want to know what the difference is, so mm -hmm. we keep one of those in here and. Yeah. That way I can, you know, and then there's some stuff that I test on. But, you know, as you know, Navico is Simrad, B&G, mm -hmm. and Lorantz, oh, yeah. all, all the three Top big the three. Line. Yeah. Got your VHF. VHF there. and CB. And yeah. then over here is our heater. So we got a Wallace heater built in. You can, that's what you hear running right now. And then all our controls across here, AS, all our switching for our radials are all up here. Dual bilge pumps. Again, switching here across. And then another binnacle over here cup holder important stuff yeah so, yeah, yeah gotta have that coffee there yeah so yeah, everything's right things are, where you can get to it you know do you have an inverter in here too i see the no no inverter just uh okay just uh, that would just be for shore power oh gotcha okay mm -hmm. well let's take this thing for a spin man yeah let's get this thing up on step all right let's do it get her up to cruise 225 Mercuries, tons of torque. You go straight to wide open throttle? Yep. Yeah, we're already at 40 miles an hour. Are you in knots or miles an hour there? Miles an hour. Miles an hour, yeah, 41. Yeah, I just backed off a little bit. Yeah. I've been a lot of wood out just here. Just jump straight up. It'll get, it tops out around 50, you know, yeah. depending on the load and all that. Well, let's see if we can't get this thing up. Let's get this thing trimmed up and uh, see if we can't get that 50 miles an hour out of it. We've got pretty good water here today in the South Sound. And uh, let's see what we can't do here, buddy. Forty-six. 
We are scooting. We've got a little bit of a wake here from the ferry. 47. We're going to flatten out right up here, John. And uh, pretty remarkable being able to fly along at nearly 50 miles an hour on a 27 footer with a 20 degrees of dead rise, right? Yeah. Moves right along. Yeah, nice. Well, we got close to 50 there, 47, with a little. It likes a little chop. Around. A little chop, it does yeah. better. Yeah. With a little messing around, I know we could we could break 50. We well, break them with our boats. There's know. a lot of there's a lot of goodies in this boat right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> so. And you're probably full of fuel too, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a full tank. Check out the cornering capabilities on this uh, 27 North River. Again, it's like a little tactical fishing machine, you know? <laughs> but Packed yet, with features. But they take the, we the water really oh, good. Oh, very seaworthy. I mean, you guys run these offshore for tuna. And really, you know, with an eight and a half foot beam, you can trailer this thing anywhere. And the way our openers are nowadays, being able to move to you where the fish move, are at, yeah. You know, and it's nice to be able to tow the boat around. You don't have to run it. You can just tow it, dump it in, and hit some of these quick little openers that we have here in the Pacific Northwest. You know. No, it's great. It's a it's an all around boat. You know, you can get it in. Even some of the bigger lakes, you can get it in, and yeah. you know, it it'll, it'll gets the job done. But yet, you're in rough water offshore. You know, 50 miles out chasing tuna. Oh yeah, for holds sure. up fine. All right, John. We just saw a top speed of about 47 miles an hour. Let's see what kind of economy we can get now with well, those twin 225 Mercuries and this 27 foot North River. Then we're bucking the current here, but we're doing about two miles a gallon right now. 1.7. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit. We got four guys in here, full of fuel, two two miles per gallon, and 26, 27 miles an hour. Yeah. For How many cruise. gallons of fuel do you hold in here? 140. Okay. Plenty for a tuna run. That I'm sure. Yeah, especially with these motors. Well, cool, man. Appreciate you taking the time today. It's been fun. Yeah. Saltpatrol.com. Saltpatrol.com. So running your Mexico trips and all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely uh, 19th year. Wow. So, yeah. About 80 people go, 80, 90 people every year. And then you keep the boat in El Waco now. I do. Right? It's in up here. Summertime? Some Puget Sound stuff in the spring, you know, if we have black mouth. Otherwise, yeah. I'm in a walk up from uh, about the end of June to beginning of October. Yeah. So, I get. Awesome. I see a lot of people down there. Oh so. yeah, great fishing. They intercept and all those fish come back to the Columbia. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They come to you. You don't have. Oh to go yeah. With that. Appreciate it, man. That yeah. No fun. problem. <laughs> so good time. Man, this thing's a little sports car. Hey, don't forget to check out SaltPatrol.com for everything saltwater fishing from Mexico on up here to the Pacific Northwest. Give Live the Boat a follow. Thanks for checking us out this week. We'll catch you next week.